Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to configure Webpack to use multiple templates, how to change the final template location, which means where the final file will be exported to, and how to clean up your dist folder every time you run the build. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now we will have a look how to change the location of the exported template. Okay, so for now, the template is being generated and saved inside of the output dist folder. But what if you want to change it and output it somewhere else, let's say in the root folder of our project. And the change is very simple. All we have to do is to define a file name that will point to the right place. Okay, so we want to go folder up and then save index.html inside of the root folder. So that's why we defining file name and then the path to the file where we want to save it. And if we save it, we should see the file index.html appearing in the root folder instead of the dist folder. Okay, the dist folder now only consists of the app bundle.js and app CSS. And we've got the index in the root and it should point to the right location of the CSS. So we didn't have to worry about redoing and pointing to the right file. It's automatically generated from Webpack. Okay, so that's how you change the file name, how to change the location of where the index file or the template file is generated. I will revert it back to how it was. I want the files to be saved in the dist folder. So let's delete the index from the root. And one thing that I like to do, just to make sure now if we build it, it should be again in the dist folder. That's correct. And now what I want to do is to clear the dist folder every time we do any build. So these files are always the latest. So before they are generated, we want to delete the old one. And for that, we use a handy NPM package, Reamer Ref. So let's firstly install it. And then we'll open the package JSON. And inside of the scripts, we'll create a new script. This time, we'll call this clean. And we will run Rim ref on the folder dist and everything inside of it. Okay, so we want to make sure that that folder is completely wiped out before we continue building it. And we want to run this clean before we are running the Webpack in the production mode. So we'll just in front of the Webpack P type in npm run clean. And then with two ampersands, we'll continue with the Webpack P. Okay, so now if we run, so if I save the package JSON and run npm run prod, we should see the dist folder being wiped out and then the new files are regenerated inside of it. Okay, so these are the latest files and the old files are deleted by the handy remref package. Now let's have a look how we could create a second template and only include a specific part of our JavaScript. Okay, so we can simply define a new HTML Webpack plugin and we'll call this contact page just for the demo. We can delete the minify, we'll keep the hash and we'll create a template contact that is a contact page. I delete the rest of it here. We want to save this to contact HTML. So we'll need to define the file name. By doing that, it will automatically be saved into the dist folder because that's our output folder. And the last thing we'll need to do if we would try to run it now, it would complain that this file doesn't exist. So if I go npm run dev, you will see the error message. 
that the file doesn't exist can resolve contact HTML in the source folder. So we'll need to create it and create a new file, call it contact.html. Inside of here we'll write a simple HTML template. We can copy the title from the index and inside of here will be just h1 contact page. Okay, so that is our second template. Now if we run it, we'll see everything compiling without errors and if we navigate to the contact contact.html, we'll see the contact page which is using our second template. Okay, so this is how you create multiple templates for multiple outputs, depending on what kind of project you're working on. And as you can see, both of them are linking to the same style. So style sheet and the JavaScript files are exactly the same on the index and contact. But now we'll have a look how to specify different bundles for different pages. Let's create contact JS, contact JS, and inside of it we'll simply include console log. Then this will be the new entry file. So if you want to have multiple output files, multiple bundles, you'll need to define multiple entries. At the moment we've got only one, so we need to cut this out. And instead of that, we'll create an object that will be describing all our entry points. So the app entry point will be specified like this and then we can have another one contact that will point to source and contact.js. Okay, so now we've got two entry points and we want to create a bundle for each of them. For that we also need to change the file name of the output instead of app, we need to make this dynamic and we'll change it to a name. Okay, so this name will refer to the entry names. So we should have two and we should have two outputted files app.bundle and contact.bundle because we're including this dynamic name.bundle.js as a file name. And now let's save it. Let's quit the build and run it again. See if we've got any errors. No, everything is valid. And if I refresh the contact page, we see the hi from contact page script, but the same thing is happening on the home page. Okay, both of them are including both of these. So what if we want to include that contact JS only on the contact page? We'll go back to VS Code and we'll scroll down to the HTML Webpack plugin. And the first thing we'll do, we'll exclude the contact JS from the index. Okay, so for that we'll use exclude chunks property and we'll specify an array of chunks to exclude. In our case, this will be contact, contact. And that's all we have to do to not include contact JS or contact bundle on the index HTML. And inside of the other template, we can specify chunks which to include. Okay, so chunks. And here we want to only include the contact. Okay, so we are doing two things. We are firstly excluding chunks from the index and then only including it on the contact page. Okay, so if I save this, I will need to quit the build and run it again. And now inside of the browser, we should see the index not running the contact. And if we look at the network, refresh the page, you see that we really only calling the app.bundle.js and no contact. And on the contact page, we are calling just the contact bundle and no app bundle. Okay, view source just to prove it. Contact bundle on the contact page and app bundle on the index. 
And that's it all for today. Now you know exactly how to use multiple templates, how to change the location of the file after it's been exported and how to clean up your dist folder before each build. Hope you've learned something new and as always don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye!